Alright, gentlemen, and welcome back to, well, welcome to a brand new series, the second full series of Pokemon Sun and Moon that I am super, super excited for, and I hope you guys are having a very Merry Christmas, because I thought I'd upload this on Christmas. I thought that'd be a fun little idea for all of you that are watching in, like, June or something. Ignore this. You're six months late. It's all right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to get started on this. A Wonderlock, if you guys don't know what a Wonderlock is. We're going to do a normal playthrough of the game, but in a Nuzlocke term, okay, let me start off with how a Nuzlocke works. A Nuzlocke works that you can only capture one Pokemon, the first Pokemon you find, as long as it's a new Pokemon, per route or per town or per just area in general. If it's a new area, you can capture a new Pokemon, all that kind of stuff. But if you fail to capture it, you don't capture them. The other twist to this is you have to name every single Pokemon. You gotta give them a nickname, which I struggle at, so I thought that'd be a little bit funnier too. And if that Pokemon faints, it is considered dead and you cannot use it anymore. I love the theory behind Nuzlocke. Now the better part is for Wonderlocks, which is what we're gonna be doing, same rules apply. But that Pokemon that you capture, first of all, Wonder traded away. Whatever you get in the wonder trade, you have to use unless it's a dupe. Like, if I already have it or whatever. Or if he's, a, um, like, a way higher level or something like that. I'm just going to wonder trade him away because I want to have fun with this. I w I'm excited. I'm also going to cheat the game a little bit. I'm, a, I'm firmly against cheating, but I bought a device purposely for this, this series only. I bought, like, the little action replay. I think it's plugged in somewhere. I was testing it this morning, and it does work to get me rare candies. So once I Wonder Trade a Pokemon, I can rare candy him up to where the Pokemon I Wonder Traded off was. So if I capture a level 10 Young Goose, and I'm like, let's Wonder Trade him off, and then I can't uh, get a level 1 in return, I will rare candy him up to level 10, or I could just leave him alone. It's one or the other. I don't know. I just have the rare candies there just in case. And if I do find a rare candy out in the wild, I have to use it right away. That is my rules for this. And if, a Poke if I run out of Pokemon... So let's say I black out. I'm going to change this rule too because I'm kind of scared of the Nuzlocke thing. We get to begin the game. Um, if I black out, I don't consider that's losing yet. I lose all six of Pokemon or five, whatever I end up having in the party. And then I could use my PC Pokemon just because I thought that'd be fun. And it gives me more variety in it too. It gives me a little more strategy. And I want to do this series. I really want to do this series. I don't want to stop for any dumb reason. I want to do this series. I... Yo, I'm this is, okay. So this is my second time playing through this now. I'm super excited for this. And if you guys don't know, Pokemon Sun and Moon, actually very difficult. Let me turn up the volume a little bit because I think it needs to go up a tiny bit. It looks like it's low. I'm I'm used to the old one. I don't know why it seems super low. Hang on now. Give me one just a sec. Alola, cousin. Hey there. Good afternoon. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. I don't think I'm going to do too many voices in the series. I wanted to do that for the first series. I, I kind of want to focus on this series and make sure it's all about the Pokemon. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but good rare Pokemon. Also, the layout was made by Dina. Dina is a phenomenal artist. Look at the little Rowlets underneath me. They're so cute and so happy. Let me get the picky pickies over there. That way. <laughs> we got the sun shells over there. I, I love how this is looking. We got, we're doing Pokemon Sun this time. So I wanted it like sun themed, like beach themed. So yeah, we got the beautiful water. I think it looks gorgeous. <laughs> Go show Dina some love. Look at the branches over on the side. I love it too. There's no shortage of cool Pokemon here in Alola either. He is right. I actually, I really want to get an Alolan Grimer. I really want an Alolan Muck. He's becoming my new favorite Pokemon. <laughs> well, not my favorite Pokemon, but I'm liking him more. Such mysterious creatures. Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. I haven't done, I haven't actually like done a Wonderlock before. So I have no idea if this is going to end up being great or if this is going to end up being horrible. Either way, I'm excited in any episode this could end. Also, the Nuzlocke won't start until I can Wonder Trade. I don't know when that is. It might be a while into the game. We'll have to wait and see. Here at Alola, we love our Pokemon, and we depend on them heaps, too. Some of us even battle with them if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers, which I'm, I'm a Pokemon master. Rockruff, can you wait until I'm done talking to play? Rockruff. I don't know what a Rockruff says. <laughs> I'm assuming rough. All right, I got to ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. Hold on, I got to fix something. All right, there we go. That's better. I had to fix... It was bothering me how the bottom wasn't perfect. I, I tried setting this up beforehand. I did my best. Uh, which one am I? I'm the first one. So, I, I I guess technically I'd be the second one. 
if anything. But the first one has the closest to my eyes, which I'm recording at night, by the way. It's the 23rd. I leave to go to Chicago in eight hours. So I'm recording like five episodes before I leave then. It's going to be a long night. But the good thing about the night is it brings out my eyes a little bit more and I like it. They're all blue. I love it. You okay with this one? Yes. That's what I did the first one. I actually think you could change contacts in this. So like if you are like blue eyed or a different color eye or whatever, that you could choose whichever one you want. So I'd, I'd either be the first or second one, but I just went with the first one. You guys know what we're calling ourselves? We, I'm pulling out my stylist now, my handy dandy stylish. We're calling ourselves H Bomb. Should I do the 94? Screw it. We'll go with the full brand deal. H Bomb 94. If someone gets my Pokemon, I want them to know that it's from H Bomb 94. So you go by H Bomb 94. That looks so weird having numbers in it. But yeah, that's what I go by. I got. I got Starbucks too. It's currently 9 p.m. like I said, so I'm drinking Starbucks at 9 p.m. because I want to get these videos done. I'm getting no sleep tonight. 10-4, good buddy. I'll let everybody out here know you're on your way. H-bomb 94. <laughs> yeah, that's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Yeah, no, more like more like a bomb. Um, can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. I'm so excited. I, I really love Wonder Trading. It's just like a fun, it's okay. The way, if you guys don't know me, my other channel is hbomb94, and my that's my main channel where I do Minecraft, I do IRL videos, I do that kind of stuff on there. Here, this channel is specifically for Pokemon. I always thought I was asleep. I... Oh, oh, it is like three months later or something like that. I forgot about this. Because I remember, like, uh, Meowth comes and yells at me. This is like the dramatic running away scene with Lily. Dun, dun, dun. I think... I, I can't really tell... If the audio is super low or not, I gotta stop biting my stylus. It's a habit of mine. She's got purdy eyes. <laughs> it's Co Wait, is it Cosmog? I think it is. How did? Where, where did she come out of? She's in the middle of nowhere, and then like those guys. I'm not gonna question it. I'm not gonna question it. I love the dramatic scene of this. <laughs> I can't stop looking at the Rowlets. The Rowlets are so cute on there. Look at him. He's got like galaxy eyes. They're beautiful. You see his little bow tie. I want to like swirl it around and play with it. I love Rowlet. Oh, and if you guys... Oh. <sighs> Sorry, I'm talking over this. I, I've already seen this before. I don't care enough. I want to talk about the Rowlets. Now, I am going to choose one Pokemon that I, I'm... My least favorite starter that I'm going to choose, it's going to be Litten. I'm going to choose him for one specific reason. Now, if you guys watch my live streams, I've talked about it a bit. I have been wonder trading nonstop, trying to just like get like random Pokemon for me to complete the Pokedex and that kind of stuff. And I was trying to get Litten, and I got like eight Rowlets and like seven uh, Poplios before I got one Litten. So Litten is the most, the one that I noticed that is wonder traded the least. So I want to throw a Litten out there. You know, maybe someone like, like, okay. If someone did that for me when I was looking for him, I'd be super happy. So I want to make someone super happy out there too, which I, if... Just in general, I'd prefer getting a Rowlet or a Poplio. But, you know, like, there's, there's less Littons out there. We gotta get more Littons out there. That's that's the rule that I'm gonna go by. I don't, I, like I said, I love Poplio and I love Rowlet. Rowlet's my favorite. Poplio's a close second. Not too close, but close. Littons, like, they're up here. Littons, like, yeah. But I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do voices. <laughs> if you guys want to hear me do voices, watch the last series. Ah, just can't. <laughs> can't you just feel the warmth? <laughs> the first day spent under the Alola sun. I thought it was three months later or something. The first day spent. Oh, it's so warm and bright here. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack. That's how I feel about move me moving to Arizona. And I'm going back to like 10 degree weather in Chicago tomorrow, which I'm not excited for. To spend Christmas with the family. Go get H from 94. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird how I called myself that. I should have just done H bomb. I should have just done H bomb, or should have done H bomb place. <laughs> Look at how cute Raul it is. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, ooh, ooh. oh, you guys, I keep forgetting that it's like opposite. So, like, if I want to look over that way, whatever. Um, if you guys are wondering for you watching that now, the people that are watching that in the future, like, are we watching this? It might not matter to you, but once I get back from Chicago, I'm hoping to start uploading some, rah, some competitive VGC battles, and I'm very excited for that too. I have to move to get up. I, I struggled with that the first time. 
Look at my eyes. They're gorgeous. Not, 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 not this face. That face. That way. <laughs> I don't think there was anything in here for me the first time I went through here. There was no, like, the ditto, the ditto pillow and pokey toy are both covered in, oh, meow. That's right. I love the picky peckies, too. I, 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 sorry, I actually just got this layout like maybe 20 minutes before I started recording this. So I'm still like admiring it and loving it. I really like it. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. I'm going to end up starting like every single like character off with a voice. And then you're slowly going back to my own. So H594, are you pumped to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Of course I am. Find me an Alolan Grimer, please. So like I said... In the wonder lock if or when i start wonder trading if i get a duplicate pokemon i will be able to wonder trade him off or if it's just too high of a level like i don't want to just breeze through this like i don't want to get like a level 20 pokemon the first time i get a wonder trade or something like that because that's no fun that's just me like blowing through it and i'm, I'm not gonna like try to cheapskate things out of here i actually want to have fun doing this too like i'm not gonna set any ground rules like it has to be within five levels or something like that the only thing so like the reason why i'm gonna do the rare candies is because i don't want to be demotivated to actually use a pokemon I want to make some unique Pokemon that I normally wouldn't be able to use on here. Hey there, HBob94. My name's Kakui. Gl good to meet you, cousin. I still hate how he says cousin like every sentence. You gotta be tired after a long trip. A long trip all the way out here from a low. I can't speak. You feeling any jet lag? Yes. Tomorrow I will be. Because I'm gonna get no sleep tonight. We sure are a long way from Kanto. My neighbor's gonna hate me too. Yeah, I just realized that now. I never record at night. I'm normally asleep by this point. I go to bed early because I'm an old man and wake up early. They're going to hate me. In Alola, it's still daytime out here. Oh! Th How does that work? No, I have the time messed up on here. Oh my god. Okay, I got to fix that. Last time I played on this DS was Pokemon Moon when I was trying to get... Uh, the daytime or, or nighttime when I was playing during the daytime or something. I don't know. Mixed up there. To go get uh, Cosmog at the finale. So I mixed up the time. So right now it's night for me. And I was expecting it to be night and game. Because Moon's the one that makes it opposite. But it's opposite on here too. Because I messed with the time settings. <laughs> by 12 hours. I'm... T <laughs> of course I still... I, I wasn't reading any of that. I still remember you seeing those battles in the Kanto. Years ago. It's not very important. But yeah. I've been in love with Alolan Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. Ha! I was supposed to be visiting there to research Kanto Pokemon moves and all. They transferred over here, too. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those Kanto gym leaders proved me wrong. Yeah, Brock's a bit of a toughie. Hey now, HBomb94. Let's get a move on. Next town over, cousin. Time to get to meet the island Kahuna and get your Pokemon. Yeah. A Pokemon? I can't even... Is there just an option to make them shut up? That's all I want in life. Yeah, sure. The Kahona who lives in Icky Town is always happy to give any kid who wants to have an adventure their first Pokemon. That sounded so weird in my head, but it didn't sound weird when it came out. That sounded even weirder. But don't try take talking taking on the Kahuna yourself. The Kahunas are crazy strong Pokemon trainers. They're unbeatable for folks like me and you. Huh. They simply give my boy a Pokemon. Then those Kahunas. Sorry, it's a habit of mine now. Really are worth meeting. It's it's gonna happen every once in a while too. I'm warning you guys now. It's gonna bother me probably way more than it bothers you. Hurry, get a, get ready, H bomb. Your bags and hat are still upstairs. Give you a, cap a copy of your adventure rules. Oh, I bet you look like you got a style and hat to match mine, huh? What does this hat mean? Is it the, the, is there meaning behind it? Cause it's got like a rainbow on it. Is it like pride, which would be awesome if it was, or is there like, was I supposed to grab that or? It's in the boxes? Is that where it is? Or does it have like another meaning behind it? Because it's like a rainbow. Is there a rainbow Pokemon? Is there a rainbow Pokemon? I think that'd be considered Xerneas if it was any. I think it is. Would Xerneas be considered like a rainbow Pokemon? I'm sorry, Stylus. I didn't mean to throw you. I'm sorry. I swear. But I don't know. What's a rainbow? I'm looking up rainbow Pokemon and just seeing. I love how the last thing I looked up was Josh Peck. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious on how old he is. <laughs> rainbow Pokemon. Would cast form? I spelled rainbow wrong. I spelled Rambo. Ho oh, oh. That makes more sense. Ah, that makes so much more sense. You you look ready. Uh, you look ready for anything now. Have a good time going out there. I'll get used to talking in my normal voice. I, I will, I swear. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up. Or 
If you guys want me to do voices again and just struggle with that, you guys could tell me. It's not going to be like that for the first few episodes because obviously, like I said, I'm pre-recording before when I go to Chicago. So it's not going to be, I'm going to try using my normal voice for the first ones. But if you guys want that, be sure to tell me. If you are excited for this, be sure to tell me too because I sure as hell am. I didn't listen to a single word you said, mom. I was too busy looking at the Rowlets. Woo! That's a styling hat, cousin. Sorry, I had to read it like that. If you start off with a sentence like woo, I'm going to put some emphasis on it. I can't help it. Oh, your mom, <laughs> your mom there. She's uh, looking forward to get you getting your first Pokemon. Mm, that's what I meant. Like, what is it? A badge? Is it the ch oh? Is it the champion thing? That might be it. Also, my beard looks off and it's bothering me. So let's get to Icky Town. I shaved or not shaved? I trimmed it before this because I wanted to look nice for Christmas, and my beard was kind of getting a little ridiculous. Because I'm going to go see family and I thought I would look good. I don't like how short it is. Also, the lighting in here doesn't help it at all. It, it looks... It doesn't look as good in my opinion. And then... I think it's this way? Is it this way? Dang it. I always would go the wrong way. Wait, there's an item. I know there's an item. Stop it. Don't, stop yelling at me. There's an item back here. Right? I swear there was an item back here. Where is it? No? I don't believe this. And I'm back here. Maybe there's a Zygarde cube in the future? That might be it. I swear there was an item back there or something. Huh. When does the Taurus come out? I don't know when exactly the Wonderlock would start either. Now this is more like it, yeah. Welcome to Paradise, cousin. This is Alola region. Folks here in Alola get along by living together with Pokemon. Yep, 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 yep. You could go anywhere as long as you get Pokemon helping you out there. I, I, I like that theme for the whole thing. Like, the whole theme for this series is Pokemon helping you. Not even necessarily your own Pokemon. But, like, as you go through, you get the, the pager or whatever it is. The ride pager. And, like, Sharpedos, Laprises, uh, Machamps. All random Pokemon just help you out. I kind of like that. That's why we got to get the Kahuna. Get to the get you to the Kahuna. First off, we got to go to Icky Town. Come on, it's not that far up there. I don't know, he just, like, struts his muscles. I like him still. He's still one of my favorite. What do you say? Hey, you! You look like you're having a good time strolling around there. I'm gonna do that regardless to any little kid that talks to me. <laughs> That's just my go-to voice. I don't have to talk to any of these people. I'm pretty sure I can just walk through. This is so calming. Wait, what happens if I... Am I gonna be able to... Oh, no. He stops me before I get to any grass. So, H594, you loving Alola already? Yeah, I mean, I, I just got here. I should have said I guess, but I, I didn't want to move my, my, my cursor thing. Oh yeah, looks look look there. Looks like an excited Al Looks like an excited Alola tr Alola trainer comes at to us. God dang it. Professor Kakoe, could you recommend another move for me, boy? Sometime, please. Why? You already look like you know you know which moves you want to use, yeah? You come find me next time your Pokémon learns a new move and then I'll battle with you. It's kind of random, isn't that? I didn't feel like that was necessary at all for this playthrough. Like, why did he... Why, why, why? I want to turn... I, I keep checking the desktop audio. I'm going to turn it up a tiny bit more. I'm sorry if it's a little loud. I, I want it to be a... Like, I'd rather be a tiny bit loud than a tiny bit soft. You know what I'm saying? Could dive into tall grass here. So, yeah. He's giving us the tutorial, the basics of Pokemon. You go into the grass to find Pokemon. Trainers, if they're looking at you and they want to battle, they will battle you. All that kind of stuff. Those two. The trainers go up against each other. You, you don't actually see Pokemon like that. Kind of unfortunate. Come on, young goose. Hiss. Young goose, the Donald Trump looking Pokemon. He does still look like a Donald Trump. So does uh. Oh, what's his what's his next evolution's name? I always called him Muggin. I, I don't know. I don't I don't actually I I. I'm looking it up. Young goose. What does it evolve into? Similar to Mongoose, yeah, I know that. Gumshoes. I never... That's such a random name. I don't get quite get it. I kind of like it, but I kind of just don't. <laughs> and here we are. We're in Icky Town. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I forgot about this. This part gave me goosebumps the first time I played it. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy here. Oh, I love Tapu Koko. The more I and the more I watch the anime, the more I started liking Tapu Koko. I like Tapu Koko. He's got such a cool design. He's just so easy to use that I kind of don't like him. If that makes sense, like it's 
it, it doesn't take much skill to use Tapu Koko, if that makes sense. I mean, you just pretty much get the electric terrain up in your Thunderbolt or your Volt Switch, and then you have some moves to cover it in case it's a ground type move, like Grass Knot or something like that. I think he also gets Dazzling Gleam. I don't know. I'll wait around here to make sure we don't... I haven't used them yet, to be honest, but that's just because I've seen other people using them. Like, that's no fun. It just doesn't seem as... I, I don't know. I don't like just, like, all-out offensive Pokemon, you know? I, I, I like a mixture. Was I supposed to do this? I wasn't reading. <laughs> By the way, if you guys are new here, I had the patience of a goat. I, 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 I can't stand a lot of dialogue, and once there's a lot of dialogue going on, especially at the beginning of the game, I will just speed fast it. Which I'm, a lot of you don't mind, but there will be something like, oh, h my trainer. I'm sorry for you guys, but I'm, I'll do my best. Really? Really? You want to go to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. He hopes to find Tapu Koko. I haven't got to see Sol Galeo yet. I'm actually really excited to see him. Uh, the more... Th okay. I hated him when I first saw him, but the more the more I saw him, the more I started liking him. And then I found out that he wasn't a fire type, which like blew my mind and made me wonder. I understand that he's a steel type, but psychic? Why? Why is he steel psychic? I don't quite get it. Like, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, but he should be a fire type. Like, steel, like, he's the sun Pokemon, so I guess, like, he's is, he's made of pure steel and it can't be melted or something like that, or the sun has turned him into steel. I don't know. He should be a fire type, though. He should be steel fire. That'd be good typing, actually. Especially in the new generation, especially with all the Tapus. That'd be... That's already pretty good typing, but the fire is, as well would be nice coverage for, like, Celestila and other stuff like that. Cosmog! I, lo I love how Spiro's always the bad guy. What did Spiro do to deserve it? Spiro's always like the 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 the, the bad Pokemon. Like it's their go-to that attacks other things. Is there anything around here? I feel like if I'm correct, there was a Zygarde cube somewhere around here. But right now, there's nothing. Oh, please help me! <laughs> People absolutely hated it when I did my girl voice because I can't do any girl voices other than that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> that sounds so weird to say. Who are you? Never mind me. You have to help me. Help it, please. Save Nebby! Uncle Nanny! <laughs> okay, sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> I can't wait until Ace Rollo comes back. You guys do know I'm going to do 100% that voice when Ace Rollo comes back. That I'm making an exception for. No matter what you guys say, I'm doing Ace Rollo's Uncle Nanny voice. I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs won't get... Don't make excuses, girl. Just shut up. The first time I did this, I walked around here carefully, but I'm pretty sure the game wouldn't make me fall off there. So I could just run. It's like, it's like, sorry, I just hit the microphone. Just run, bolt, stop, bolt. Oh my god, look at Cosmog. They're using Feather Dance. That doesn't look a thing like me. That doesn't look a thing like me. What did he use there? I never quite figured out. Did he use Metronome? There's Tapu Koko. Did he just thunderbolt them? Did he just kill them? Did he just make fried chicken? What is Spiro? Is Spiro a pigeon? Is it a crow? Hold on, we're doing a lot of research this game apparently. Oh, Tapu Koko is so... All the Tapus are awesomely designed. I still like Tapu Bulu the most, but I do, I do like how they're all designed. They are pretty. What are you? What kind of Pokemon are you? Normally it says like the bird Pokemon. The tiny bird Pokemon. Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks, Bulbapedia. Pew. Oh thank, oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know that what happened last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time, and I couldn't help you even help you in return. Pew. Sorry, that's my, that's my Cosmog voice. He has one word, and it's pew. What? What is it? <gasps> Tapu Koko left you something. Pew pew. A sparkling stone. It's almost warm somehow. What does that mean? Please forgive me. I am so grateful that you're helping us out in this dangerous spot. Are you the kahuna? No. A kahuna would save him. Unlike me. I think the stone must belong to you. Wow, ignore the question. Just, mm -mm. Don't respond to it. It looks so weird. Wait, does that turn into the Z crystal or whatever? Is that what it is? Because it has a Z and I, I think it is, but it just looks so weird right now. 
It just looks so weird. And then, please, don't tell anyone this about about seeing Nebby. It's a secret, okay? I don't talk, so it's pretty much a secret. I I, I can't really do anything in this. Pew. I hear him in the background. Oh, Nebby. Are you not gonna say like bye? Um, I'm worried that we might get attacked again by something or something. <laughs> I know it's too much for me to ask. I know it's too much for me to ask it, but do you think you could sh see us back to the town? Wow, needy. I got a girlfriend already. That's going to be the end of the first episode. I hope you guys are excited for that. Like I said, there's, I don't know when the Wonderlock is actually going to like start, start. I don't know when I get like, I think it's the festival plaza. So that might be a little bit while in here. So we're just kind of kind of go through like a normal playthrough until we hit that point. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you are hyped for this series, tell me. Show me some love. Show me some likes. Show me all that kind of stuff. Get out of here. <gasps> you knuckleheads.